Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up both of your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers to your Windows machine wirelessly using Bluetooth so you can use them on the PCSX2 emulator to play PlayStation 2 games. So as I mentioned, you do need Bluetooth for this, so make sure you got Bluetooth sometimes built in, sometimes you'll need a just a cheap five, £10 dongle. Okay, so let me show you the controllers right here. You can see the controllers. If you just try and connect them up as is, you can only really use one at a time because a lot of the buttons are duplicated. But what we want to do is make them like an Xbox controller. And that works fine then. So if you open up your web browser, we want to download some drivers. And we want to go to Better Joy for CEMU. Go to the GitHub link. And I'll provide a link to this so you don't need to be Googling if you don't want to. Go to releases, download the latest version, 64-bit if you are on a 64-bit operating system. x86 is 32-bit, so if you're on a 32-bit OS, download this one. To find out, go to your computer, system properties, and as you can see, I'm on 64-bit. So I'm going to download that now, click that. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And now we need to install it so let's install it so right click extract all and there we go and in here we want to open this one the install so right click here run as administrator this pops up go to more info run anyway so probably take about 20 seconds or so to install everything and actually start it up so these are just some drivers in the back end and as you know as you can see it's saying if you do want to uninstall it just use the uninstall file which i'll show you in a second okay so once that's done click space and you can un uninstall it for whatever reason using this so now we need to actually connect the controllers up so to do that go to your bluetooth settings if you are on an older version of windows you may not have this interface and then just go to devices and printers and add it that way. So I'm going to go to add a Bluetooth device. So I'm going to put this into pairing mode. And the left Joy-Con is connecting. It's ready to go. Ignore the fact that is, that, that is still flashing. We'll sort that out in a second. Now let's put this one into pairing mode. It's literally just this button here. If you didn't properly see it on the right, on the left stick. Keep that press for a couple of seconds, it will go into sync mode. Now go into add Bluetooth, Bluetooth, and that one there. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually close. Maybe up here again. They connect and yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So if we just go up to, you know set up USB game controllers, it doesn't appear there because it's not properly detecting it. So what we want to do now is open up this better joy for CEMU. As you can see, it's detected them. And if I pick this up and bring them closer, let it focus in, they've both been recognized as controller one. And let me just want to bring it back a bit. If I press locate, it vibrates the left one, vibrates the right one. And he says both joy con successfully found so they paired them but you know together and this is essentially emulating an xbox controller as you can see right here um, one second i'm just going to move my mic back so if you hear some sound that's what it is okay i've got a bit more room to move around now so if we go to properties as you can see it it just detects the keys as you normally would the left analog stick seems to be a bit iffy. Uh, I think it's just where I've got my Bluetooth placed. I think that is the problem. But for the most part, it is working great. So now we can actually just click OK. OK. You need to leave this open because if you close it, it will shut. The, it will actually turn it off, and you won't be an Xbox controller anymore. So leave that open. Go to minimize. And now the only thing that's left is for us to open up PCSX2 and map the controls. If this was open when you did all this syncing process, make sure you close 
PCSX2 down and reopen it just because it doesn't always detect a new input device that's been connected. Go to config controller plugin settings. From here, we want to go to, and the controller has been detected right here, that one there, and go to pad one, clear all, and now let's start mapping everything. So let's start mapping this side first. So square, triangle, circle, and X, let's, we'll put this one as start, and R1 and R2, and R3 will be the stick clicked in, the, oh yeah, it's picked it up right there, up, left, right, and down. Okay, so that's all of that done. There's some extra keys that we can map here, maybe we want to map it to, you know, analog if we want to. Yeah doesn't seem to want to let me do it for that so we can ignore that so if you really do need the analog key you can map it if you want to and uh, what did i want to do okay so yeah i want to do the d-pad now up left right and down and i want to do the analog stick have i just done it yeah that's the one Okay, so what's left? Oh yeah, it's just the sticks. So let's do these. Did I do that? No. Ooh. Okay. interesting very interesting that is uh, okay so we got that there yeah that's fine okay so I'm missing one key select okay so you can you know mess around with sensitivity feel free to do that that's the great thing about using the emulator go to apply okay and now let me just launch up a game Tekken 4 and show you it working so fast boot let me make this bigger. So if I click these two, start and select. Seems to have gone into sync mode again. Uh, what was this? So is that happening? We've gone into sync mode. Then we go to Bluetooth settings. Added the uh, say this added say this paired. Well, let me remove the device. I don't know what's happened. One second, I'm gonna unplug my Bluetooth, plug it nearer to Okay, so let me parry over. I think my Bluetooth device may have been a bit too far away. So I've got some dead zones in this room, honestly. <laughs> so so you, you, you aren't probably won't have that issue. And in all fairness, I've got a cheap Bluetooth dongle. But that don't help. Let me just reopen this. So Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth is here for one for all now. One second. Let me just. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. 
couldn't connect Shrine again. Let me just shut PCSX2 down a second. Uh, okay, that, that, that just connected there, and it should appear in, uh, in a second. Okay, there we go. We haven't detected it on here yet. So yeah, the left one is always, is apparently being detected now. So I've got the right one. Let me remove this. Honestly, I don't think you'll have this issue. It's been having some issues with my Bluetooth, in all fairness. If you do have issues, you know, let me know, but I don't think you have problems like these. And there we kind of go. They've been fun, but they're no. Actually, yeah, that should be fun because we only want to map the keys. That shouldn't be a problem, actually. So, because we're mapping it anyway, it shouldn't really matter, to be fair. Okay, so I'll keep that open there, just so I can see, make sure that it's still connected. Go to control and plug in settings, make sure everything is done. So, if I go to where is square? I'm going to try square. I think I just need to remap it again. So let me just quickly remap it. Picked it up right there, and that one, and that let's do the D pad. Move this over so you can actually see a little better because we'll have the other, the little thing there. So sorry about that if you couldn't see it. And select, okay, click apply, okay, and now let's give this a run. It's working when I press these. Oh, there we go. Let me just turn the volume. Oh, sorry, it's not the camera. Let me just turn the volume down a second. So let me start playing. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna pull the video here. It was a bit patchy for me there. I tried it before the video, it worked fine. But honestly, like I said, I do have a cheap Bluetooth dongle, so I think it's not properly connecting because of that. Follow the video. If you do have issues like this, let me know, and it might be a bit more generic, but it was working fine with me before, so you know, just check, you know, follow the video, everything should be fine. So that's it. Any questions, feel free to let me know. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.